Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop that's not the shop and another Carbco Quickie. In this video we're going to do a follow-up from the last one where James asked, show us how to make prismatic letters in Carbco Maker and Carbco Maker Plus. So let's get right to it. Alright, so Carbco Maker Plus. I don't want to say it's easier, but it's easier. So here's how you do this. You don't need the square around the object as we did in Carbco Maker. All you need to do is click on the text to get it active. Go up here to the triangle, the Pyramid of Egypt up here, and click on that, the shape editor. And it now gives you this crazy looking bunch of dots, but they mean something. Go over here to the right. We're going to click on this button here that says square that is pointed. And that gives us the bevel that we're looking for. Now you could change that angle right here, but we're going to use a 90 degree V bit. No, we're not going to use a 90 degree V bit. We're going to use an end mill. This is basically a relief carving now. So it doesn't matter what angle you put here. You could put a 5 degree angle if that's what you chose. I'm going to leave it at 45 for simplicity's sake. Scrolling down, we need a constant height. I want these letters to be an eighth of an inch tall, so 0.125. We're going to click. Well, that's all we're going to click. We want to make sure we have it set up for add and click apply. We have just created the beveled prismatic letters that we're looking for. Close out this menu. Let me grab the text, not the text, let me grab the uh, vectors and move them out of the way so that you can see this easier. And as you can see when I zoom in and push on the left mouse wheel, they are definitely raised off the surface. Now, as I said, this is not a V-carve. This is now a relief carving. That is now a relief carving, that text. So we go over here to relief carve click on that. We'll do whole relief just because it's simpler. We're going to choose a finishing tool and let's go with a uh, 16th inch tapered ball nose. It's one that I use quite often. We'll use an eighth inch end mill as a roughing tool. Scrolling down we're going to adjust the safe Z height. As you can see here on this side it's at 0.16. We're going to change that back to my favorite 0.1. Point 0.1 right there. We're going to define the material to 0.75. We're going to click OK. Calculate the tool paths. Sit back and wait for the green bar to go through. And we'll see what we have here. Just like that, bing, bang, boom. We now have prismatic beveled letters. Let's simulate the tool paths. We're going to simulate them all. If I push on the mouse wheel and I rotate to the left, you can see we definitely have beveled topped letters. One more little tip for you. If you click on the word simulation over here, some people don't know this, and you go all the way to the bottom down here where it says material, and you click on the word material, you can change this to whatever you choose within this uh, selection, drop down. I typically go medium oak because that helps these old eyes to see this. So if you click apply, now we have a piece of wood in there instead of a piece of gray wax. So there you are, folks. That's how you do it in both Maker and Maker Plus. I hope you learned something from these videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep sending us more suggestions, more questions, and if I can do a short video, I'll be more than happy to. Please like, subscribe, and share if you haven't done so already. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.